If you're looking for a new computer, then you may come across quite a few terms and features that you're unfamiliar with. I'm going to go back to basics and start from the beginning, as well as explaining some terms you now may come across. Before we go into anything technical though, have a think about what type of computer you want. Along with PCs and laptops, we've now got netbooks, which are extremely portable, although they only let you do fairly simple things, like browse the web, send emails, or create simple documents. No matter what type of computer you choose, they all share some common features. First up is the processor, which is the computer's brain. The more things you want your computer to do, and the better you want it to do them, the better the processor needs to be. Netbooks have processors which are designed for simple use, whereas PCs and laptops have a wide range of better processors available. For laptops, you'll also find there are now ultra-low voltage processors which give extended battery life. Intel and AMD are the main manufacturers of processors, and each rates their own processors so you can see how good they are. The next thing to look at is the computer's memory, which is called RAM. This is measured in gigabytes, and the bigger the number, the more programs you can have open at the same time, and the faster they'll work. Storage is another thing to look at. This is how much space the hard disk has to store documents, music, and photos. Like RAM, this is measured in gigabytes, and the bigger the number, the more you can store. Next, have a think about how big you want your screen to be. If you're planning to do lots of fiddly spreadsheets or play games, then you'll probably want a bigger screen. And finally, to make everything work, and so you can see it, you have an operating system. There's usually one preloaded onto your computer, so you don't need to worry about which one to choose. So those are the basics covered. A few technical terms you might come across are optical drive, this just means you can play and record discs like CDs and DVDs. Wireless just means your computer can be set up to automatically connect to the internet without having to plug into a network. An HDMI output allows you to connect your computer to a high definition source or a high definition TV. Blu-ray, you can only watch Blu-ray DVDs on your computer if it says it can do this. If you want to learn more, there's plenty more information on the Comet website.